This is so beautiful. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Yerevan, the capital city of Armenia. We are so excited to be here. But you may be a little bit confused how we got here, because last time you saw us, we were in Romania. Long story short, we took an overnight bus to Sofia, stayed there and had all of our favorite foods from all of our favorite places, and then took a plane to Yerevan, where we're gonna spend the next month backpacking across the Caucasus, and we are so excited. We're Connor and Livy, a couple from England in our 20s who are on a mission to travel the world budget backpacking. We started this new adventure on April the 26th, 2023 and plan to travel around the world for as long as possible. If you've been with us for a while, you would know that last year we backpacked Turkey, the Balkans, Eastern and Central Europe and that was just the beginning. We want to showcase the beautiful cultures that we encounter around the world and how at our core we are all the same. As I said in the intro, we are in Republic Square, which is one of the two main squares here in Yerevan. Yerevan is one of the oldest operating capitals in the world and is 29 years older than Rome. Our first impressions of Armenia has already been good because Olivia lost her headphones in the first taxi drive Typical. from the airport to our Airbnb and the woman actually took our details to give us more advice on like the food and where to go which was really nice for her in the first place and then she, Olivia contacted her and said look I've left my headphones in there is there any way I can get them back no she contacted oh me. yeah she contacted Olivia she then came back today the next day dropped them off refused to take any money and just left us as that so, so. that's just a start out of the hospitality <laughs> in Armenia yeah we've never felt so welcomed into a country not only are the people very welcoming here in the city, but the city also looks very welcoming. There's no rubbish on the floor, it's very clean, and that definitely includes the street that we're on now. We're on Northern Avenue, which is where you're going to find all of the high-end design shops, such as Ralph Lauren, Levi's, etc. So if you want to come treat yourself, this is where you're going to go. We're not going to treat ourselves because <laughs> we are above budget. This is where you come. Also, we're still trying to figure out the money situation. Like one pound is equivalent to like 450. And we're just spending money and, we're, and they're asking for like a thousand. And I'm like, huh? Oh. Really? And then we had two coffees. It was like 5,000. We're like, how much? But then we're like, okay, fair enough. But there's so many zeros so in our pockets. Just bear that in mind. And make sure you have your <laughs> currency converter on you. It is 30 degrees here in Yerevan, so we decided to pick up one of these things. We've seen every... Oh, sorry, Olivia wasn't in the frame. Go on. <laughs> We've picked up one of these because everyone has got one, so we were getting jealous. Yeah, so we had to, naturally. We didn't want to be left out. <laughs> so I got a mango crush and Olivia got a... Iced coffee. Iced coffee, and we are sat in front of this amazing view. Check this out. But it's like torture because we want to go in there so desperately because it is so hot. But we can't, so we're going to stick with these instead. £2.50 for both. Insane. <sighs> that is crazy. That is so good. That is one of the best drinks I've ever had. It's so needed in this weather. You like yeah. it? And it's going to take a little bit. They don't mess around with the coffees here. They are strong. But the only <laughs> thing is, they do make you wait a yeah. very long time. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's worth it. in Freedom Square which is one of two main squares here in Yerevan and in this square you have this massive opera house that was opened in 1991. We haven't done a lot of research into Yerevan and to be fair I'm happy we didn't because every corner we turn there's another building with a lot of history behind it and we're just pleasantly surprised of what we're seeing so far but our first impressions of Yerevan is definitely a thumbs up. It's slowly becoming one of our favourite cities that we visited. There's so much history, there's so many cool buildings and we're enjoying our time here. And so kids far. are learning to drive in yeah. the background. As you can see, they're just driving their little BMWs. They'll probably get their license before me. I still can't drive at <laughs> 22. But yeah, definitely a big thumbs up for our first impression of the city so far. Behind me are the Cascades of Yerevan, which consists of over 700 steps. And it connects the downtown area of Yerevan with the monument area of Yerevan. Unfortunately, as I'm sure you guys are likely aware, we're not the highest level of fit. So we're going to be going into the art gallery, which I'm not <laughs> sure too many people know about. And we're going to be taking the escalators to almost the top, almost. So we are going to head up the steps for the rest of it. 
Construction began and the first phase was completed during the Soviet Union, but after the Soviet Union collapsed and the Armenian earthquake, all construction stopped. However, construction re-began in 2002 and it lasted a whole seven years until we ended up with this at the end of 2009. So, let's make our way to the top. Escalator to almost the highest level, but it was closed for the last bit, so we didn't cheat the entire way. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure behind Connor is the top of the cascade. All the way up there. I'm pretty sure that if you climb up there, if the weather is right, you can actually see over Mount Ararat, which will be really beautiful, but I'm pretty sure the weather is just not right today. We've got lots of clouds, but we're going to leave it here because it's a beautiful view over the Yerevan, and we're going to climb back down and get some food because we are absolutely starving. But we're really happy we did it and it is something you absolutely have to do if you've come to Yerevan. And you know what the best part about it is? It's free. That food was amazing, and for only twelve pound, you cannot we complain. Had four coats, four huge king carlies, yep. and two skewers of kebab, and you really cannot go wrong. And that included the service charge. Crazy what? stuff. But food is done. We are no longer hungry. Hey, and we ate at the Armenian National Tavern. I Tavern, believe, like yeah. All Next to the restaurant, the what was it? Lavash. Lavash, which is where a lot of the tourists go. We were going to go there. But we might go there in another video it because we'll be doing yeah we will be doing a food tour sooner or later. But on another subject, the thing we love about Yerevan the most is that every time you turn a corner, there's something new to see, something cool to see. Spider behind us. Whoa! I didn't even recognise that. This one, it's not moving. <laughs> yeah. So literally, if you want to come here on a budget, you generally can because you don't have to pay for a lot of the activities yeah. here. And you don't have to like what's the word? hold back from spending yeah because you're really not spending a lot even if you try to it is a very beautiful clean city it's very peaceful as well and like i said there's so many like water fountain statues seats in the shade so you can just sit there get a coffee and just chill there as long as you want we've got companions they won't stop following us <laughs> we've headed to the market which is another free thing to do if you are here in Yerevan. But we have got company. Look at these two little doggies. See, I got scratched by a cat in Morocco, so now I have a very severe fear of rabies because <laughs> I researched it. So I'm trying, no one's scratching his nose. <laughs> they are tags though. Most of the dogs that we've seen around Yerevan, the stray dogs are all tagged. Yeah, but they're, they're scratching as though they're not. Look at this guy smiling. But it is taking everything that's in me not to touch them. But Basically, if you don't know, if you see a little tag, it was like this in Turkey, I'm not quite sure if it is here. It just means they've had all their injections, their jabs. I'm still going to take chance this time, actually, after <laughs> my rabies scare. I honestly thought I had a couple of weeks left. Look at them. But they're really cute. Oh, no, they've so. lost interest. Oh, well. You want to go explore the markets? Yeah, I'm sad because I really want to touch them. Oh, the white one's there. Hello. Right, I'll leave you to scratch the dogs and I'll go enjoy the markets. <laughs> These markets, look at these lovely paintings behind us. These markets are mainly traditional markets, so they'll just sell like traditional paintings, traditional cutlery or clothes and anything traditional. They're usually just mm -hmm. handmade by the person selling it, like yeah. Olivia saw someone making Take a chessboard. Take a shot every time Connor just said traditional. <laughs> <laughs> you saw someone make I a chessboard or something? I saw someone making a chessboard like, by hand, just like chiseling it right yeah. there and then putting it out on display. So it's really interesting, a really cool place to come and see. But they are packing up now because it's 6.30. So and it's still so hot. Come early. Though. My God, yeah. So if you have any extra money lying about and you want to bring a souvenir home, these markets are the place to go. Armenia 
was the first country in the world to adopt Christianity as a state religion in 301 AD. Behind me is St. Gregory the Illuminated Cathedral, also known as Yerevan Cathedral. It is the largest cathedral in the Armenian Apostolic Church. Two tickets. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. That is how easy it was. 20p, I think that is. And you'll figure out the way. There's not really much information, but you'll figure it out. And we're done. That is how simple it is. 20p, just ask for a ticket, bang. It's a really simple, but they don't tell you anything. There's no information <laughs> anywhere, so you really need to figure out yourself. It's just 200, and then give it to them. Oh, it's 100 each. 100 each, give it to them, they'll give you the little thing you put in the machine. And that's standard, like, there's no different no matter where you go. Yeah, so we got to get Metro 1 to get back to our apartment, and we are going to show you our apartment, because it's a pretty cool location. It's located amazingly, like what I just said. So that is the main train station and Metro line, where you get the Metro. And where Olivia's walking is where our house is right there i'm pretty sure it's called like the train station apartment and it's pretty cool yesterday at seven o'clock in the morning or actually today at seven o'clock in the morning we just had some random guy come in and start talking to us in russian know what i guess he probably said lock your door <laughs> because our door <laughs> wasn't locked <laughs> he just He's walked just in testing it. spoke to us for two minutes and now, walked that's off something that we should be freaked out about but if we do we won't sleep so we're like oh <laughs> nice russian man at least he closed the door on the way out yeah that's true so Come have a look at our apartment. Welcome guys, welcome. Station apartments. Welcome. 30 pound a night this costs. And that is the average price in Yerevan, so. And of course, would it be- It's a mess. An apartment without a mess? That no, is literally nice. it. Tables, bed, and then kitchen. Bathrooms, showers. The only negative is that you need to turn on hot water one to two hours before. We yeah. Learn the hard way. Trust me. <laughs> we had the worst shower of our lives this morning. <laughs> but yeah, it's a cool apartment. It's right next to the train station. And for £30, you cannot complain. But I think this is a great way to end the video. And that was our first impressions of Yerevan. We hope you enjoyed. We absolutely loved it. It was such a nice city. And obviously, we're going to be back with more Armenia videos. <laughs> other countries very very soon please like subscribe post notifications on and we'll see you in the next video bye